And the Lord is hastening his work to gather Israel. That gathering is the most important thing taking place on earth today. Nothing else compares in magnitude. Nothing else compares in importance. Nothing else compares in majesty. And if you choose to, if you want to, you can be a big part of it. You can be a big part of something big, something grand, something majestic. And if you choose to, if you want to, you can be a big part of it. You can be a big part of something big, something grand, something majestic. What I'm asking is that you always look for opportunities to bring up your faith in natural and normal ways with people, both in person as well as online. I'm asking you to stand as a witness of the power of the gospel at all times, and when necessary, use words. There are many normal and natural ways to do this, from daily acts of kindness to personal testimonials on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter to simple conversations with people you meet. My dear friends, you will rejoice in knowing that you are a significant part in the long foretold gathering of Israel, preparing Christ's coming in power and great glory with all the holy angels. Heavenly Father knows you. The Lord loves you. God will bless you. This work is ordained of Him. You can do this. We can all do this together. I so testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Many of our missionaries are busier than ever. Many are teaching more people than ever. There's an increased connection between members and missionaries. In the past, we might have been so tied to the traditional approaches that it took a pandemic to open our eyes. Perhaps we were still building with sandstone when granite was already available. Of necessity, we are now learning how to use a variety of methods, including technology, to invite people in normal and natural ways to come and see and come and help and come and belong. This is the Lord's work. He invites us to find his ways of doing it, and they may differ, differ from our past experiences. This happened to Simon Peter and other disciples who went fishing on the Sea of Tiberias. That night they caught nothing. But when the morning came, Jesus stood on the shore, and he said unto them, Cast the net on the other side of the ship, and ye shall find. They did cast their nets on the other side, and were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. God has revealed and will continue to reveal his Almighty Hand, the day will come when we will look back and know that during this time of adversity, God was helping us to find the other way, the better ways, His ways, to build His kingdom on a firm foundation. I bear witness that this is God's work, and He will continue to do many unimaginable things among his children, his people. God holds us in the palm of his caring and compassionate hands. I testify that President Russell M. Nelson is God's prophet for our day. As an apostle of the Lord, I invite and bless you to cheerfully do all things that lie in your power. And then may you stand still with the utmost assurance to see the salvation of God 
and for his arm to be revealed. And I promise that the Lord will cause unimaginable things to come from your righteous labors. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Watch how easy it is to ask your non-member friends for help reviewing your blog articles as Connie and her non-member neighbor reenact what they actually did. This is an actual member, author, and her non-member neighbor. Hi, Connie. Hi. Thanks for letting me come over. I have a big favor to ask you. Okay. <laughs> you say okay already? You don't even know what it is. That's all right. So, um, I'm going to tell you what the favor is first so that you don't have to worry about it. Okay. And then I want to explain it. All right. Okay. So, I want to know if you'll read an article that I read. It's just a little more than two pages. And give me some feedback on it. Okay. Okay? But here's the deal. Um, I want to explain what it is. So, uh, some people from my church, my congregation... Mm -hmm started a blog and I put the name of the blog on here for you so that if you want to look it up and see what it is finding purpose and peace dot com oh okay so anyway we I've been asked to write an article for this um, blog or this website that we're doing I wrote the article but one of the requirements okay. is that I have to ask two people who are not members of our church the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to read this and right. to give me feedback okay okay and the kind of feedback that I'd like from you is I want you to look it over and just tell me things like this kind of doesn't make sense to me uh -huh. you know maybe you need to explain this or because sometimes we get into our own language and our own jargon that we're used to at church but we right. want to appeal to a larger Christian audience Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure that that larger Christian audience understands what we're talking about. Sure. Okay. That makes sense. So are you down? Well, okay. When you called and asked if you could come over about this, I, I was a little confused. Okay. But it's like, oh, this makes total sense. Um, so you've got the two articles here you said. Right? Well, this one, it's just one article. Oh, just the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All and right. then there's the website right there. Ah, I got okay. it. All right. And then, how soon do you need this feedback? Thanks for asking. I was just going to say, this is my next point. So, can you get it back to me within four or five days? Because I oh, have a timeline. Sure, that's not a problem at all. It's okay. not that long. So, yeah. Okay. I, I can do you want to do this this evening? Call me or text me when it's done? Yeah. Or come over? Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, I... I think I can easily do that for Thank you. you. What are neighbors for, right? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. My dear friends, you will rejoice in knowing that you are a significant part in the long foretold gathering of Israel, preparing Christ's coming in power and great glory with all the holy angels. Heavenly Father knows you. The Lord loves you. God will bless you. This work is ordained of him. You can do this. We can all do this together. I so testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.